Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And we got some big news rolling in for T-Mobile. And before I get this video started, just a disclaimer, I'm no stock expert, no financial expert, so don't go and buy or sell any of your stock based on what I say. So we got two analysts that came out recently. We got the Wall Street Journal, or Wall Street analysts, I should say. And we got Goldman Sachs that also... Um, released an article on CNBC and I will leave a link to it in the description down below so you guys could check that out as well. So ever since the Amazon rumor came out when every all the uh, mobile carrier stock dropped drastically when that rumor first appeared, ever since then, which is which is about 5 weeks now, T-Mobile stock has already rebounded by 12%. And analysts are now predicting that T-Mobile could rally as much as 27.68% over the next, you know, several quarters. Now, that would put T-Mobile close to the $180 price target. Some analysts have T-Mobile going as high as 200 on the price target. So very interesting and and then it goes here's here's how to trade again. Like I said, I'm I'm no financial expert, but I'll leave this article in the description so you guys could check it out. So this is very interesting. So here's what I'm anticipating. T-Mobile is continuing its success story. They, they first had to build the network to support the growth. That's here now, right? We can make the argument, are they loading up the network? Perhaps we can make that argument all day long. And then how do they combat all of the traffic that they're loading onto the network, right? Do they, do they invest more? They, they for sure have the free cash flow to do it. So in the future, the capital, they could definitely invest more. So here's, here's what I anticipate. So this quarterly earnings, which should be sometime towards the end of this month, actually, I anticipate to see better financials. And that's based off the new Go 5G Plus plan and the Go 5G plan. Those plans are more expensive. And if they still had that 60% take rate or a little higher from what they say, they should show progress on the finances. And that will, of course, carry over to all the other quarters that follow this, uh, this second quarter. So Q3, Q4, and then next year, the finances should be better. Now, the good thing is in terms of the, in terms of the growth, they are still cheaper in many cases than Verizon and AT&T. They do that with free lines. They do it with insider discounts. So for single line customers, um, not necessarily as beneficial to be a single line customer on postpaid. That one, you probably are looking at it, paying a little more against the competition. But once you look at line two, three, four, you get free lines here and there. Maybe you bundle your home internet discount. You're looking at getting a better deal overall. And that's what T-Mobile continues to use as they continue pushing the narrative of the value and best network play. Now, their window of opportunity is running out in terms of the network leadership. I mentioned that in a previous video. You guys have seen it on the third-party reports. But that has not steered T-Mobile away from its, from its success. And I don't believe it will. They still have the smaller network. They, they still lack the scale. But it has not yet steered T-Mobile away from its success. So they will continue scaling and, you know, they will continue scaling at their own pace, right? Again, there's only so much money you can spend within a single year. T-Mobile could have a CapEx of $30 billion and they could only get so much done. Now, of course, $30 billion, they could get a whole lot more done than versus the 9 to $10 billion, But still, there's only so much you can do within a, ca within a calendar year. So T-Mobile will continue making progress for one. And they will continue to do that at their own pace. Whatever they feel comfortable with, they're very disciplined. They run and operate the company very smartly. And yes, at the end of this year, with the, with the new site build plans, they will likely still lack some scale to Verizon and AT&T. But that gap will continue closing in 2024. Will they lack some more scale in 2025? That is a possibility. But again, in that calendar year 2025, they will continue to close that gap some more. Now, AT&T and Verizon are not done 
deploying so they will try to stay ahead as much as they can but eventually that gap is just going to close once and for all and that ladies and gentlemen should be verizon and at&t's biggest fear as t-mobile moves into these areas with with network with retail they they compete and they compete hard we've seen it in the urban core i would say in the next three years t-mobile will likely be the overall share taker or leading share taker in the top 100 markets once and for all they have it in the top 50 they said they're they're at i think recently yes they they said they're at 40 percent share they will take the leading share in the top 100 markets I'm, I'm i'm going on record i'm saying that now and then you have to look at the other markets outside of the top 100 right that's 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 what they call smear of small market rule areas. They continue to attack those. They continue gaining share. Then they pivot to the enterprise. And they can get it as aggressive as they choose to. If the network's there, they can push and push and push. If they need a little more time to scale, they will wait. Again, it's, it's, it's their game to win. The ball's in their court. They have the brand. The, the, they have the, the, the value perception. The network continues to grow. The churn continues to lower. They can play it however they choose to. There's nobody really competing against them at the same level when it comes to mobile network operators. Verizon has yet to budge. AT&T has yet to budge. So in that regard, T-Mobile will continue taking as much share as they like. There is some competition on the back end. They got some MVNOs that they got to include in the run rate. There's some cable players that they got to include in the run rate. But they don't really look at Verizon and AT&T as a big threat because they don't really compete against T-Mobile in that value segment too much. They, they compete against T-Mobile more on the networking side, better network, a bigger network. That's, that's more of the competition that they face. Verizon is trying to overtake them on the 5G side, as you've seen recently on the Open Signal report. And they're pushing that very heavily. They still got some ways to go. But T-Mobile has every opportunity in front of them. If they feel a threat on the 5G leadership, they can in increase capital to combat if they choose to. If they feel threatened on growth and competition, they have the balance sheet to defend that as well. So it could get very, it could get very spicy in these next few quarters. But I still think T-Mobile will come out ahead. I don't think... At this time, Verizon and AT&T really push forward or, or, you know, do something off the wall crazy against T-Mobile. And like you see in this article, T-Mobile could rally as much as 27.68%. So the stock is going to continue soaring. The financials should get better. And as T-Mobile strengthens themselves as, as an overall player, they will continue to get better. They will continue scaling the network one tower at a time. They will continue with the fixed wireless access push. They will monitor the situation and they will see what, what they need to do to continue growing that, right? There's going to be another analyst day. They're going to present new, new guidance past 2025 and we will see how that looks. But the facts, 2025, T-Mobile should have 20 plus billion dollars of free cash flow. The finances should be better. Not as good as at and and Verizon. We know that. The value is still too too big. They're, they're still paying out too much. Still too many free lines going out. But from an individual standpoint versus a year prior, T-Mobile should look better on the finances, which in return should get shareholders and, and board members and everyone excited. And then in the future, you know, T-Mobile can play it how, however they want to. You know, to close out the video, just being honest, you know, T-Mobile eventually could get big-headed. And they could start raising prices beyond what Verizon and AT&T charge. They, they could do a lot of things that could derail some of their success. But as long as Mike Siebert is in charge, I don't think they're going to do anything out of the ordinary. I do think we will see a few fee, few more fee increases and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't see them doing anything crazy. I see them continue to wanting to grow. I see them continue to wanting to scale the network. To really compete against Verizon and AT and T in the in the Maine's, the Vermonts, the Montanas, you know, just the rural places, and really bring competition 
to their competitors. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.